Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this will be an eight card spread, having a look to see what is coming up for you for the month of June. If you were after a private reading with me, Scorpio, my email is listed below in the show more section. Um, otherwise, feel free to check out your other readings for the month of June. Scorpio, this is all about love and relationships. You've got the Empress and the King of Pentacles, beautiful couple these two make. Um, and then you have that Two of Cups here. Okay, Leo, the theme of Leo uh, has come up twice in these two cards. So there might be a destined Leo coming in around you um, or a lot more confidence in a connection. And also King of Pentacles, which is a Taurus. Taurus is ruled by Venus. So an extremely romantic gesture or an extremely powerful meeting. This could be a twin flame that you're meeting here, um, Scorpio, reconnecting with a twin flame or meeting a new twin flame, some sort of very important meeting or date or um, exclusiveness coming in. But it's something it's something you were wishing for. OK, you've been wishing for this person or for this this ideology to come to fruition and it's going to manifest because the Empress brings things to manifest in the physical realm. She, you know, she's she's the epitome of things that happen that we can experience in our day to day lives. So the fact that that's happened and she's come up here, this is you're going to see things happen in the flesh, um, Scorpio. So that's very, very exciting. But you do have the dream card, the wish card. So hopes and dreams coming true, wishes coming true, could be around a water sign as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, because of the cups. Uh, but this is something that's really going to sweep you off your feet, uh, Scorpio. So I feel like you, there's, there's, there's an, a beautiful energy here. And look, if you have had sort of some, some sort of complications in relationships, I do think you're going to be strengthening those, those things. There may be options in love with the two of swords, but I think it's more if you've had complications or blocks or barriers, or you've been in no contact with someone, I think they're about to make contact. And I think they're about to make you very, very happy. So there is that um, excitement coming forward. And you do have two knights. I mean, the two of swords and two knights. I don't know if this is two different people coming in for love or for romance, but it could be. Um, there's also someone that could be wishing for you and they may express this. The king of pentacles is quite a romantic energy. So I feel like there is someone here who's wanting to show you a bit of romance, but they do it in quite quite a, quite a charming way. It doesn't feel too forced. It feels very natural with the king of pentacles because he has so much experience. So it could represent this, this romantic interest, but it can also be money. A powerful partnership, a job interview, meeting for the purposes of uh, to bring in more money. And it could be with someone foreign who is at a distance from you. Uh, but Leo did come up twice, Taurus. So I think you will be enjoying the rewards of something here. I feel like the Empress has it quite good. You know, she's got these lavish surroundings. And then what's beside her here is this knight that's like wanting to offer her even more. Um... So I feel like there is someone who wants to make you some sort of brilliant offer that I think could bring you a lot into your life, whether it be financially or, or romantically. Uh, I think they're coming up with this energy here. So there is, you do see that Knight of Cups. And he's bringing something forward. He's bringing, you know, he's he wants to really spoil this Empress who already looks spoiled. So... I think there's really good vibes in June. I do. I think there's a lot of hope and magic. Um, but I also feel like there's a situation that needs to be taken control or something that needs to be addressed head on. You can see the two people coming together here. Um, and, and that's sort of validated here through the strength card. It's taking control of a situation because you see the maiden that's actually taking control of the lion. Uh, very unlikely pair, but they seem to make it work. Um, so I don't know if you need to let someone know who's boss, um, who, who's the top dog. Um, I don't know if this is like pride or like egocentric behavior. It could be. Um, but I feel like it's stroking of ego. I do because a lion is loving it. So I feel like there's something happening that you're going to love. You're just going to enjoy it. You're going to revel in it. Um, 
you wish it could just happen all day, that time would stop. I mean, there is, a, there really is a beautiful energy that is accompanying this Scorpio. And I think it's something deep down you really, really want. Um, so, and, and you can see the lions just loving all the attention and the affection. And it is Leo energy and Leo is all about confidence and, um, being elevated. This could even be a promotion for some of you because more money could be coming in. Um, you might be excelling in certain areas and that might be showing up. That might be evidenced in the physical realm for you, uh, Scorpio. Uh, so I like what that represents. And Taurus can also represent ownership and beautiful things. Okay, we do have beauty with the Empress. Something about your surroundings. You're beautifying something. You might be perfecting something here. Uh, a relationship, it could be working on self-image, it could be internal or external, it might even be a project you, you, you could be working on or even multiple projects. I get Gemini energy with the Two of Swords, the Twin Swords here, so I don't know if there's Gemini, Gemini's communication, um, so you might be talking about perfecting something or talking about bringing in that Empress energy, it can also be fertility. Uh, as well. So pregnancies and new additions to the family, uh, planting new seeds. Okay. So um, nurturing those seeds. But Knight of Wands is definitely on a mission here. I think there is either someone who's on a mission to make you feel a certain way or to make you do something for them. Um, but I feel like there's people wanting to prove themselves to you, Scorpio. And I think you're sitting very comfortably. Look how comfortably the Nine of Cups, look how comfortable the Nine of Cups is and then the Empress. Like they just, they don't look like they want to go anywhere. They look like they have a lot going for them. So I think the ball is in your court here, Scorpio. I think people are flocking to you. I think, you know, you might be in hot demand. There might be a lot, but you might be pausing things or maybe acting a little bit. Okay, well, you've got this, you've got control, and that's okay. Own it, enjoy it, um, revel in it, bask in it if you have to. But I see you sitting comfortably here because you're the cups. I see you're going to be put in a very good position here. So I think there is something about June that's going to be a really standout period or experience or encounter of some kind. And I think you really will love it. I think you really will enjoy it. Uh, and I think it could bring about a very strong emotional response because that's what the Knight of Cups does. Um, you might even intimidate a few people here, Scorpio. You might even mentally intimidate people you're working with or um, loved ones, people you know, you're in a relationship with and... You might induce some fear in them. I don't know if this confidence. I want to say confidence, but it's like overconfidence. And they're just like, wow, what is going on? I need to step up my game. So sometimes it's good to intimidate people, I guess, in a way. Um, but you will definitely show your value uh, in a work situation, in a relationship. And, you know, you're going to see the responses you want to see. Uh, very powerful uh, responses, I think, uh, for you, Scorpio. So... It'll be interesting to see how that plays out for you. But I love wish fulfillment. I love this strong encounter. Could even be a proposal, like a marriage proposal here or coming together for a relationship. Could even be meeting a twin flame soulmate. And we all know they come in many forms. They come through many relationships. So uh, time will tell, Scorpio. But uh, thank you again for tuning in. Really do appreciate all the support, Scorpio.